hello everyone so in today's video we will be discussing about conjunction control algorithms leaky bucket algorithm and token bucket algorithm so first of all what is conjunction a state occurring in network layer when the message traffic is so heavy that it slows down network response time what are the effects of conjunction as delay increases performance decreases and if delay increases retransmission occurs making situation worse so this is the situation known as congestion and we have two types of algorithm in congestion control algorithms uh, in the network layer before the network can make the quality of service guarantee it must know, uh, know that the traffic is being guaranteed one of the main causes of conjunction is traffic is often heavy to understand this concept first we have to know little about traffic shaping traffic shaping is a mechanism to control the amount and the rate of the traffic sent to the network so approach of conjunction management is called traffic shaping traffic shaping helps to regulate data of uh, rate of data transmission and reduces the congestion now we have two types of algorithm leaky packet and algorithm and uh, token bucket algorithm so in leaky bucket algorithm uh, we can see the uh, diagram to understand the leaky bucket algorithm uh, we have one bucket we and the bucket has a hole and a tap is uh, pouring water into bucket uh, suppose we have a bucket in which we are pouring water in a uh, random order but we have to get water in a fixed rate for this we will make a hole at the bottom of the bucket it will ensure that water coming out is in some fixed rate and also a bucket will fill we will stop pouring in it the input rain rate can vary but the output rate remains constant Similarly, in network, a technique called leaky bucket can smooth our heavy traffic. Heavy chunks are stored in the bucket and sent out at an average rate. So this is the basic uh, idea of leaky bucket. The bucket is uh, the bucket has a hole in bottom, so the water is leaking with a fixed rate and the pouring rate of water is uh, can vary but the uh, leaking water rate is constant so similarly each network interface contains a leaky bucket and the flowing steps are involved in leaky bucket algorithm are as follow when host wants to send packets packet is thrown into the bucket the bucket leaks at a constant rate meaning the network interface transmits packet at a constant rate having traffic is converted to a uniform traffic by the leaky bucket in practice the bucket is a finite queue that outputs at a finite rate so this is the leaky bucket algorithm now we have token bucket algorithm so what is token bucket algorithm the leaky bucket algorithm enforces output pattern at the average rate no matter how high the traffic is so in order to deal with the heavy traffic we need to flexible algorithm so that the data is not lost one such algorithm is token bucket algorithm see a simple leaky bucket algorithm can be implemented using fifo q a fifo q holds the packet in the traffic consists of fixed size packet and the process removes the fixed number of packets from the q at which the at which it tick off the clock if the traffic consists of variable length packets the fixed output rate must be based on the number of bytes or best bits so initial initially leaky bucket algorithm can uh, transfer the data with a fixed rate 
constant rate and the steps of token bucket algorithm is different and as follows in a regular interval tokens are thrown into the bucket in token bucket algorithm and the bucket has a maximum capacity if there is a ready packet a token is removed from the bucket the packet is sent if there is no token in the bucket the packet cannot be sent so we have an example here in figure a we see a packet holding three tokens with uh, five packets waiting to be transmitted for a packet to be transmitted it must be capture and destroy one tau token so this is the this is the example we can see in the figure a we can have that there, there is so many packets which are waiting to be sent and in uh, figure b we can see that three of the five packets have gotten through but the other two are stuck waiting for more tokens to be generated so in the figure we uh, we can see that three packets are passed and two is waiting to be uh, waiting for more tokens to be generated ways in which token bucket is superior to leaky bucket the leaky bucket algorithm controls the rate at which the packets are introduced in the network but it is very conservative in nature some flexibility is introduced in the token bucket algorithm in the token bucket algorithm tokens are generated at each tick each tick means up to the certain limit for an up incoming packet to be transmitted it must capture a token and the transmission takes place at the same rate as the sum of the heavy packets are transmitted at the same rate if tokens are available and thus introduces the some amount of flexibility in the system so these are the congestion control algorithms the leaky packet algorithm and the token packet algorithm